Well, and welcome to Morris Park. I'm Clyde Morris. And today I'm going to show you what's left of our peonies. We've had kind of a deluge of uh, rains the last couple of weeks. And kind of washed them out and made them into big mops, so to speak. Uh, but this yellow one, this big yellow one, is still doing pretty good. As you can see here. Still going fairly strong. This is one of the big pink ones we have. I think this bud kind of opened up after uh, most of the water was gone. You see some of the water damage there. And that one got uh, a little worse of it. See, it's kind of uh, moppy looking. This is one of our big white ones. It bloomed out real well, but still the water kind of got to it. Kind of browned it up and you see the aftermath so to speak and all the spotting on the flowers the rain didn't do them any good that's for sure another pink one still looking pretty nice but you can tell it's knocked a lot of flowers off of it this had a lot more flowers darker one here I think that's the only flower this uh, particular one got on it real nice this is what they call red nice double there we would have had more to show you but uh like I said, the rain really took its toll on uh, the peonies. But we do have some roses. These little drift roses here are all starting to come into bloom. Looking pretty nice. This is our purple rose. I'm gonna get behind this thing here. Looking pretty nice. Roses didn't get the beating that the peonies did uh, in the rain. Another one of our little drift roses here. Looking pretty nice. Nice pink one there. There's a nice little stretch of them here. Tons and tons of flowers on the roses. Weeding these things is kind of a challenge. We get a lot of grass and stuff that comes up through these. And basically what you have to do <clears throat> to weed these out is actually lift them up to get the grass out from underneath them that grows through them. <clears throat> kind of a challenge. It's a real nice one. And we got the little bitty one. We just planted it last year. Right there. This is one we're going to have to kind of uncover. I actually thought this rose had died out last year. And the honeysuckle seems to be overtaking it a bit. But it seems to be coming back pretty good. So I'm going to have to uncover this and get some of that honeysuckle off of there because of this great big honeysuckle vine here. Boy, oh boy, if you can smell this right now, it smells absolutely awesome. The poochies are still uh, in bud, and we're still waiting for those. So 
whole bunch of them. This is another rose we have here. It's turned out to be a really nice one. This rose is about as tall as I am. Really doing nicely. Other kind of uh, cream colored ones here. I believe this is a drift, a drift rose. One of our uh, yellow knockout roses. So far we've been lucky, no Japanese beetles. Usually it's about this time when the roses are blooming really good that the Japanese beetles come in. So far, so good. Maybe we're gonna have a lull this year. Keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Red carpet rose. We had a few of these planted up through here, but this area, there's been so much rain and everything, it, it fills up with water a lot of times, you can see here. And so we've kind of lost back on some. This one isn't doing too good anymore. You can see it's kind of right in the water. But the one over here has done pretty well. Anyhow, I just wanted to give you a little update on our uh, peonies and roses before uh, the peonies were all gone. Never know we're going to get some more of those... Uh, heavy rains. Ozark's uh, weather is very unpredictable sometimes. But anyhow, this is Clyde Morris from Morris Park. Hope you enjoyed the little uh, peony rose tour and uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care.